Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nigy. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island. More specifically about Russell Johnson. Now Russell Johnson played Roy Hinckley, more commonly known as the professor on Gilligan's Island. Watching these beloved actors, sometimes we get into the fantasy of the story and the actual timeline that the story represents. And we forget that these people are live human beings, that these people have lives, they have families, and they have past before the shows in which they starred. And I wanna highlight Russell Johnson because he has a pretty amazing backstory to what happened to him before he was on the island of Gilligan's Island. So let's go back to when he was 18 years old. He joined the United States Air Force and flew in B-25s during World War II. Now he wasn't the pilot, but he was part of the crew in the back. Let me tell you a little bit about an experience where he nearly lost his life. He was shot down in the Philippines over a town called Zamboanga. The reason he joined the Air Force was because he couldn't wait to get into the thick of combat. According to him, he wanted to do it right and become an officer, in which he did. Now, on the 4th of March, 1945, he was firing a 50 caliber machine gun from one of the B-25s that he would usually fly in. They were flying about 50 feet above the water. They were skip bombing and strafing as well. While they were doing this, the Japanese blasted 20 and 40 millimeter guns that hit both engines and made them catch on fire. They immediately knew they were going down and they began the procedure of abandoning the aircraft. There was shrapnel from the injury to the plane that broke both of his ankles. Now it killed the radio operator next to him and he didn't believe that he was going to make it either. He stated that they were lucky because the crew that survived was picked up by the Army Air Sea Rescue Service and he was shipped to a New Guinea General Hospital where he was in a bed amongst other officers as well. He likened it to a structure like on the show MASH, only the floors were coral which was tough on your feet. There were guys lying on different cots who had really been hurt and injured. I was surprised to learn that Russell Johnson earned a Purple Heart from that mission. Now he recalled that he was laying down when he was awarded the medal. Two men came up to his bed, one carrying a stack of black boxes. The officer read the routine orders with apparent no emotion at all. The officer said for wounds received in action and concluded 2nd Lieutenant Russell Johnson 076597 is hereby awarded the Purple Heart by order of Colonel so-and-so. Now when the officer had finished his speech, the sergeant with him put a little spin on the box and he basically threw it at him. It slid across his chest and stopped right at his throat. It was an interesting way to award this man the Purple Heart. Later on though, he was awarded the Air Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster, the Asiatic Pacific Theater of War Ribbon with four battle stars and the Philippine Liberation Medal. He was very proud of his military career. And what's very interesting, a little bit after this, he was honorably discharged with the rank of First Lieutenant on November 22nd, 1945. Now, this is very important because without this part of his life, he would not have been on Gilligan's Island because the GI Bill, he took advantage of that. It allowed him to enroll into the actor's lab in Hollywood, and this is where his career as an actor began. Again, without this GI Bill that he was awarded and he was allowed to take advantage of, he would have not been an actor. We'd have not enjoyed him on Gilligan's Island, which in my opinion, he was a great pleasure on the show. He was a great foil to Gilligan and a great little sidekick to the skipper himself. He was an essential part of the cast and I'm glad that after knowing him as part of the rest, he was known lovingly as the professor. So I wanna thank everyone out there who are veterans or who have veterans in their family and thank also the memory of Russell Johnson who did so much goodness for his country as well as giving us countless laughs even to this day. So thank you so much guys and gals for watching. I do hope you appreciate this and enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and most importantly guys and gals be hopeful